Assalamu alaikum. A very good day to all. How are you today? I hope you are feeling awesome. Let's continue with our English language lesson. As usual, let's recite the dua. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Oh Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Is our learning, bless our knowledge. May the success be in our life. Amen. So today's objectives are: at the end of the lesson, you should be able to one read the article and answer at least three comprehension questions correctly. Two, write at least five words. To complete a sinking. Now I want you to open your textbook, turn to page 116, unit 12, Land of Glory. Activity 1, let's read this article. Those who are inside and outside this hall, please make donations. To help Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Al Hajj to go to London for the sake of our people and nation, said Siti Rahmah Kasim at Dewan Hang Tua in Bandar Hilir, Malacca, sometime in 1957. That was one particular moment which the 84 year old. Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim, an unsung hero, will not forget for the rest of her life. Tunku Abdul Rahman was sourcing for funds to go to London to obtain the country's independence from the British. Siti Rahmah was the first person to donate her gold bangle which was a gift from her father. When she heard about it, she placed her gold bangle in a red shawl and walked around the hall asking for more donations from those present. The men gave away their valuables, including rings and gold watches. The women gave away their brooches, breastpins and other valuables. When Tunku came down from the stage to collect the jewellery, tears rolled down his cheeks. Watching the touching moment, the others in the hall cried too. She said, Datuk Siti Rahmah Kasim, who hails from Negeri Sembilan, is still active in several non-governmental organizations. She said, the younger generation should be inculcated with the determination and enthusiasm to serve the country. Your task, copy down the questions, write the answers and send the picture of your completed work to me. Question 1. The clue. Question 2. The clue. Question 3. Question 4. Question 5, the clue. Question 6, would you donate your valuables for a good cause? So you should answer yes or no. And why? Question 7. Activity 2. Turn to page 118, 
Let's learn about Sinkin. Do you know what is a Sinkin? It's a five line poem. This is an example of Sinkin. The structure start with a title. The first line is the subject, followed by description, action, feeling, and conclusion. It consists of only five lines. Let's try the sinking. A one word title. A noun that tells what your poem is about. So this is the first line. Nature. The second line. Put two adjectives that describe what you're writing about. Beautiful green. The third line. Three ing participles that describe what your poem is about. Refreshing. Relaxing, enjoying. The fourth line, a phrase that tells more about what you're writing about. Nature is important. Finally, a synonym for your title. In this case, a synonym for nature. So, environment. So, let's read our sinking. Nature, beautiful, green, refreshing, relaxing, enjoying. Nature is important. Environment. Some of the examples of sinking. Cats. Next, a sinking about an apple. Next, a sinking about an ice cream. You can browse online for more examples of thinking. Now let's practice. The first line. The second line, two adjectives. So you need to fill in the blank. I've given you the examples. You can put any one of these examples. Kind, helpful, fantastic, wonderful. Faithful, generous. The third line, the fourth line is done, and the fifth line. I've given you the examples. You need to choose from the examples. Next, your task write a thinking about anything you like. Write today's day and date. Follow this structure and write a sinking. A one word title, two adjectives, three ing participles, a phrase, a synonym for your title. You can pause this video to review the structure. Don't forget to send a picture of your completed work to me. All the best. Have a nice day and bye.